Okay, this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to show you how to add a banner up here at the top of your Schoology course. I'm going to use um, Google Draw to actually create the um, banner. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my drive and I created a folder just to keep all of my stuff in for my Schoology courses. And I'm going to create within that folder a Google drawing. Now it's automatically in this square shape and I think um, I want to customize that, but I guess first I'm going to add a title. So I'm just going to call this my example course banner. You of course can call yours, whatever you like. And I'm going to go to file and I'm going to scroll down a little bit to page setup. That's going to allow me to change the shape of the banner. I'm going to click custom and I'm going to choose, oh, what was it? I think I had it 20 by 10 or maybe it was 10 by 20. Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Obviously that is not what I want. So we're going to go back and we're going to go to page setup, custom, and it was 20 by 10 for sure. There it is. All right. So that allows you to change the shape of your banner. Now we want obviously to have a background on our banner. So you can, if you want to keep it really simple, you can just change the color of the background, but I want to do something a little bit fancier. So I'm gonna go up here to insert image and I'm going to search the web. And I'm going to search literally for backgrounds. It gives me a bunch of different backgrounds that I can choose from that are free. And I, ooh, I like that one. I like purple, it's my favorite color. I'm gonna choose that one and click insert. So then it places it as an image on my banner and I'm gonna stretch it out until I get that little red line there at the bottom. And I'm gonna do that to each side so that it fits the way I want it to. Now, sometimes when you stretch an image, it distorts the image, but I think this looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is add my name to it or whatever it is that you want to put, like your class name. I'm going to actually insert it with word art. So I'm going to say, this is Martinez's example. Actually, I'm going to hit enter. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Made a mistake, guys. No fears, though, because I can add to it. Mrs. Martinez. You have to use shift enter for multiple lines. So that's good to know. Shift enter example course. Enter. So it creates this nice um, word art for us, but I don't really love the color. So I'm going to go up here to the fill color and then I can kind of play around with how it looks. I'm a little darker than that. Oops. Maybe right here. Yeah, and then you can change the outline color as well to whatever you want. So what do we think? Whatever, either way. You can also change the thickness of your color. So that's going to change the, or the outline color. It's going to make it a little bit thicker. You can do really thick if you wanted to, or just really thin. And then this allows you to change it to like little dots or dashes if you want to do that. I'm going to keep mine as a line. You can also change the font. I'm going to change mine to Pacifico. That looks good. Looks good to me. All right. So for me, when I put a banner in my Schoology, I want my students to be able to actually click on links to get to things quickly. So I'm going to show you how I create links. There are a lot of ways to create links. Like you can make just a shape, a link, or you can make text a link. I'm going to actually go on the internet and steal the icons of things that I want. So the things that my students go to a lot. So for example, uh, my kids go to No Red Ink sometimes. And so I'm literally going to go to the internet and type in No Red Ink icon. I'm going to go into the images and find the icon that I like. This one looks good. I'm gonna right click it and click copy image. I'm going back to my banner and 
pasting it. And I'm going to put it right here. So now I can write or I can click on the my image and I click the link button. And I can type in noredink.com or you can you know paste a URL there. I'm going to click on no red ink, apply. So now when I eventually get it into Schoology, they can click on it and it'll take them straight to no red ink. I'm going to do that for a couple of other places that my students go. I did it um, right now. They're going a lot to USA test prep. So I searched for USA test prep icon earlier <clears throat> and go to images, find one that you like. I like this one, copy image and paste it in. Now for us, we, for my school, we really don't want um, the kids going to USA test prep. We actually want them to go to clever.com. So I'm going to link clever.com. So it takes them there automatically um, so that they can log in through clever. And you can keep doing this for as many links as you want. I would probably add Mimbean, maybe add Gmail, maybe not, uh, or any other website that they go to like Nearpod that's outside. You want them to go outside of Schoology. <clears throat> so right now I'm just going to leave it at two for the sake of the video. Also, if you have the extension Bitmoji, you can add that as an extension and then log in. That could be another video that I could do if y'all want me to do that. But um, I already have mine on there. I just click on Bitmoji and it gives me some of my Bitmojis. <clears throat> and you can search for a Bitmoji, but this one right here at the laptop is pretty cute. I'm just going to click and drag it in. Now, obviously, I don't want my students clicking on that, although you could link that too if you really wanted to, but I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to put it, how about I put it in the middle? Not there. Right there's good. And then I could put something over here on the side if I wanted to for right now because I'm OCD about this. I'm going to move that. Put it about there just for now. Okay, so this looks pretty good for me. Also on your icons, you can also put borders on your icons if that's important to you. Um, like you can make that black line appear. You can make it dotted and then make it thicker. That makes it a little bit more fun. And then if you want to copy what you just did, you can click the paint format, double click it. You click on the next one and it does the same thing for that. So just a quick little way to spice it up. Okay, so let's say our banner is finished and we want to now put it into Schoology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go over to Schoology and I'm going to go to Updates. Once I am in Updates, I'm going to go to Insert Content. Oh, take that back. I'm going to go to a Resource, sorry. And I'm going to click on apps because I want to get my banner that I just created from my Google Drive app. And it pulled up that folder that I had created first. So I'm just going to click on that. And here is my banner right here. I'm going to click on the little white um, checkbox. Click on the gear and I want to import embed. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to be able to go back to this Google Draw. And I want to, if I want to edit or add or delete things, I can, and it will automatically change it in Schoology. You don't have to keep going back and forth to do this. So you really just have to do it one time, and then you can add and edit your one Google Draw, and it'll change it in Schoology automatically if you click the Import Embed. So it has embedded it up here. I'm going to make sure that I click this little box here, which I really have no idea what it is, but all I know is that I had to click this little alert for it to show up at the top of my screen for my kids. Once I've done that, I'm going to click post. And when I click now on materials, it's there. So now when my students are in Schoology, they can go to Schoology and watch now when I click No Red Ink, it should take me to No Red Ink. And you might want to double check your links to make sure that they work. And this one should take me to clever.com. And it did not. So what? that's probably a good thing. Let's go and figure out why it did that. Oh, 
I don't know why I did that. So I'm going to edit my link and make sure it goes to clever.com. That's weird that it did that. Apply. Okay, now let's see if it works here. Sometimes it takes um, like a couple of minutes. Yeah, so let's refresh. So if this happens to you, I guess it's good it happened to me so that you can figure it out with me. There we go. Now, see how I didn't have to, I can edit this and it automatically edits in Schoology. So that's the thing about the embed. So that is how you create your banner in your Schoology course under materials and using the updates and using Google Draw to create a banner.